Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome to episode 2 of So I Caught a Fish, Now What? Today we're going to be making one of my absolute favorite white meat fish recipes, which is ceviche. For those of you not familiar with the dish ceviche, it's a seafood dish made up of fresh cubed raw fish or shellfish. You can use uh, scallops, shrimp. Yeah. It's not cooked with heat, it's cooked with the uh, citrus juice. So it's marinated in a large amount of citrus juice, lime and lemon, orange. In today's recipe, I'm using two types of fish, but you don't necessarily need to. I just like the different textures. I'm using the fresh Pacific black rock fish and a piece of ling cod, both of which I caught yesterday. And there'll be a link at the end of this video if you want to watch that kayak fishing adventure. But you want to chop your pieces of fish in fairly small chunks. Um, the smaller you dice it, the faster it'll cure and cook in the lime juice. Uh, I like my ceviche a little meatier. I like the fish to really stand out, so I, I cube it just a little larger than the water recipes. Since you were using lime juice to cure the fish, you want to make sure you use a glass or porcelain bowl. You don't want to use a metal or stainless bowl as the acidity can react with the metal. Some other types of fish you could use could be fluke, flounder, any kind of sea bass or grouper, sole, rockfish, mahi-mahi. Of course you can use scallops and shrimp like I said, or prawns, squid, lobster, pretty much any firm white fleshed fish or shellfish. So I'm using about a pound and a half of fish. I found that about eight limes is usually pretty close to the magic number, but you want to just go ahead and get a couple extra. You never know if you're going to have limes that aren't quite as juicy or any more juicy than others, so there isn't a real exact number. You just got to kind of go by how much lime juice is covering the fish. You also want to roll your limes before you cut them. That just helps break them up and ensure that uh, you're getting all the juice you can out of them. What we're going for here is just enough lime juice to be even with the top layer of fish. If you need to buy one of these handheld juicers, I really recommend getting an all metal one. There's so many plastic cheap ones out there that just don't do a good job at all. Spending a little extra money on an all metal one is good investment. I'm using all lime juice, but you could throw in a lemon or an orange, depending on what kind of taste you're going for. I really prefer the taste of all straight lime juice. As you can see, we're just about even with the top layer of fish when I start stirring. Might need to add just a little more lime juice, but it's looking pretty good. I'm going to let it sit in this lime juice and cure for Oh, probably two to three hours. If I diced it a little smaller, it wouldn't take near as long, but like I said, I like a little more meaty bite, a little bigger pieces of fish. You can see it's only been about 10 minutes in the lime juice. And the fish is already starting to change color. It's going from a more translucent raw color to a starting to turn white and look more of a cooked, finished fish color. So there's a ton of different ways to do ceviche. Everybody has their own way. A lot of people like to completely cure the fish before adding their onion and vegetables. I like to partially cure the fish. And I'm gonna add a whole red onion diced up fine. I like to add it a little earlier than most recipes because I just love the taste of that almost pickled onion in that lime juice. This is a great combination. So when it comes to adding peppers to your ceviche, it's a personal preference of how hot you want it. Uh, I like mine spicy, but my wife and kids not as much, so I'm going to go ahead and dice up uh, one jalapeno and uh, see how that looks. If I think I need a second one, I'll do two, but I don't want to make it too spicy. And then I'm also going to dice up 
uh, red Fresno pepper. It's more for color. They're not too hot. Now I'm removing most of the seeds in the core just to help cut down on the heat, but if you want it hotter, leave those seeds in there. It'll warm you up. You can really see the color change on the fish now. It's, it's almost completely white. And it's only been about a half an hour. I'm using a red Fresno pepper here. You can use whatever your favorite pepper is. I just happen to like the flavor and the color of this particular pepper. But if you have a favorite, feel free to put one or two of that particular variety in. So next we're going to dice up a couple of Roma tomatoes. Dice them up medium chunks like you would for salsa now some recipes call for adding a diced cucumber or carrot uh, it's just a personal preference of what kind of vegetables you'd like in your ceviche I absolutely love cilantro so I use an entire bunch uh, just diced real fine, but you can adjust the amount of cilantro to your personal taste. Man, the smell of fresh cut cilantro. This reminds me of salsa and freshness and everything I love about Mexican cooking. Now we're going to give all this a stir, get everything uh, marinating, get these flavors married together. Uh, I also normally add two or three minced up cloves of fresh garlic, but we live on an island in the Gulf of Alaska. The grocery store doesn't always have what you need, so you haven't have it for this recipe, but uh, definitely a must add. The garlic really adds to the dish. So I'm gonna cover this in some saran wrap and get it in the fridge and get it chilled and let these flavors start marrying together and be ready to serve. All right, now that we got this bad boy out of the fridge, it's had time to chill and let the flavors marry. We're ready to serve. Now, if you have excess lime juice like I do here, you can drain some of that off just to keep it from being too much on the wet side. Uh, I like to go ahead and season now with salt and pepper to taste. And uh, this is where I would add my hot sauce, but since I like it a lot spicier than the rest of my household. I'll typically move mine to a bowl and then add the hot sauce there. But uh, definitely, if you like a spicy ceviche, this would be when I would add the hot sauce. A little shot of what it looks like with the hot sauce mixed in. Man, looks good. I find a good old salty tortilla chip to be the best vessel for eating ceviche, but it could also be used on tostadas or even Ritz crackers would work. Just like salsa on steroids. So good, so addictive. Better have a big bag of chips ready. Hey, I can't thank you guys enough for watching. If you want to see the video where I catch the fish we cooked today, here's the link.